HGTV's House Hunters is popular because it shows that average Joes and Janes can own the homes of their dreams. At least, that's what audiences think. The truth is that this reality show offers little more than false promises. Here's the untold truth of House Hunters. It's fake. The blog, Hooked on Houses, began exposing the series in 2010 when blogger Julia Sweeten detailed the steps producers allegedly took to manipulate episodes. Whistleblowers outlined the actual process behind the show. Generally, participants have already decided on a house before filming even begins, then tour a couple other homes to complain about for the cameras. Well, it's definitely not our style. It's not yeah. new, it's not modern. I, mean, I could learn to live with stairs. Sometimes the new house has even already been purchased. Participants are reportedly paid $500 for a few days of filming. Or, as most people would call it, a few days of acting. Perhaps you would care to say that? To his face! Oh, you fooled me! <laughs> acting! Genius! Thank you! More money overseas. While $500 for just appearing on a show isn't bad, it's not as good as what the people who appear on House Hunters International carry home. In addition to the opportunity to visit another country, participants pocket $1,500, according to the production company's website. That's three times the cash for essentially the same amount of work. It's no secret. In 2012, the show's publicist issued a statement to Entertainment Weekly, admitting that producers seek out families who are far along in the house-buying process in order to speed up production. Even though aspects of the show are staged, the series tries to capture the authentic emotions that accompany buying a house. Okay, fine, but don't act surprised by your viewers' authentic emotions after finding out they've been duped. It's all in the hair. Despite being outrageously fake, there's still some fun to be had while watching the show. According to participant Bobby Jensen, the ending of an episode can be predicted by the participants' hairdos. Jensen told Hooked on Houses that scenes at participants' old homes and new homes are filmed close together, while scenes at the other potential homes are filmed later. If you watch carefully, you'll sometimes see inconsistencies in participants' hair lengths or styles. Match the hairstyles and you can predict the ending. Another tell? The winning house will usually be completely empty, while the others may still be furnished since the new house has already been purchased and the previous owners have moved out. Pretty sneaky, sis. And in Jensen's case, the other two houses she toured already belonged to willing friends and were never really on the market. The truth matters. Audiences often expect reality television to be manipulated, and with that in mind, one may think nobody's getting hurt by house hunters. The people at Slate disagree, saying in 2012, quote, House Hunters is presenting dangerous misinformation about the home buying process and deleting all of the accompanying complications and consequences. Viewers use the prices, locations, and home criteria discussed on the show as barometers for their own house hunts because the information is presented as fact. Doesn't HGTV have some obligation to portray the housing market as it is, or, at the very least, offer a pronounced disclaimer about the producer's creative and logistical liberties? HGTV's director of programming, Brian Balthazar, doesn't think that any of it really matters, telling ABC News, They should keep watching because you're seeing real people find the real home of their dreams. And that's all spelled out right on the show. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know what you think of House Hunters.